Now to remove the board I need to remove a number of screws. One here, 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 here and here. Pay particular attention to this one, it's a very thin and small black screw. Um, if you lose that then uh, it's very difficult to replace. Okay so we'll start at the bottom. Okay, that's all the screws removed and now what I can do is I can gently tease up the motherboard, working my way around it. And that's it removed. So we place the motherboard with a working motherboard. What you do is work in the opposite direction. So the main thing to do is to align it so that you've got the motherboard underneath all the cables and get them in place. Be careful not to lock any cables underneath and then gently maneuver the board back in place and then fit all of the screws. Okay, with all the screws in place we can now go back to putting in the uh, appropriate connectors. The first thing to do obviously is to connect the speaker one because that's going to be underneath this large sheet of copper. And then we're going to replace the uh, touch screen and what you want to do is to align this gently in place until the white lines disappear and then fold over the two white connectors. Next we're going to replace this ribbon cable. Again just slide it in place until the black line disappears and then flick it down and then we're going to replace the connector here and you're best doing that with a pair of tweezers because it's quite tricky. And then fold that down be very careful with the gold contacts, don't bend them, they snap very easily and uh, they're not easy to replace. And then fold over the LCD cable, that just clicks quite firmly into place. And finally, we uh, roll back the copper and put the tape back in place. Now this copper will just spring back up because it's quite well sprung. Um, but the back will hold that in place and then what we do is we take off the tape here and we place the tape across the connector
bend over the battery connector, slide that in place, and there you have it, a uh, motherboard replacing the Nexus. Now what I'll do is I'll um, switch on the Nexus and, and show you. So this has been fixed it, showing you how to so this has been fixed it, showing how I safely remove a motherboard from a Nexus 7 and replace it. I hope you enjoyed the video and if you do please give it a thumbs up and check out my other videos. If you're a Nexus 7 only you might want to uh, bookmark um, this site so that you can come back and have a look at what else I'm doing. There's also a blog with details of that in the video description. Motherboards, batteries, speakers, USB connectors and other items are available on my Fixed It UK eBay site. That's F-I-X-E-D number one T. Um, thanks for watching. Bye.